What's going on everybody, it's Denver and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to show you the new rig provided by Meta with the Interaction SDK samples. I'm gonna walk you through some of the demo scenes that are included, such as the one with the comprehensive rig, also the new locomotion system, which is really cool, that you can also use your hands to do locomotion. We can also rotate by performing a different gesture. I'm also gonna show you what are some of the settings that we need to apply to Unity to be able to make this work. So let's jump into my computer and I start working on it. All right guys, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be switching the platform to Android. I like to do that right when creating the project. I'm also going to be installing the Meta Interaction SDK. This is only the Interaction SDK, it doesn't include everything, so it just keeps the project pretty clean. And then I'm also going to be installing after this the other component required, which is the OVR integration. That's how you can communicate with the OVR plugin. And lastly, we're going to be doing the examples, which is what I'm gonna show you today. Also import the sample scenes, the feature scenes, and the tools. They're not gonna be required, but I wanna have them in this project. Next, we're gonna be taking a look at a couple of different scenes, which I'm gonna give you a demo. This is just a sneak peek of the scenes themselves. This one is the locomotion scene, also the concurrent hands and controllers, which is really cool, and I'll show you how that works in the demo. And also the comprehensive rig example, which I really recommend you to look at, and stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how it works. Also, to get this build, we're gonna be adding all the different scenes, also modify the Oculus Project Config, we're going to be enabling the Quest 3, and also controllers and hands. And lastly, we're gonna be going into the Project Setup tool and just fixing all the outstanding issues. This is gonna allow you to basically get everything set up correctly so that we can deploy it to a device. The first demo that I wanna show you is a new locomotion example scene, and this one has an illustration that tells you exactly what gesture you can use to teleport to specific areas, also an X in cases where it doesn't allow you to teleport. You can also teleport to you know different locations in this environment. Obviously the water, we cannot teleport to the water, at least on this demo scene. You can also do a different gesture here to basically do what's called a snap rotation, which I think is really cool and really ingenious on how they came up with this option. You basically have to move your hand to either rotate to the left or rotate to the right, as you guys can see that I'm doing right now. I can also go to designated locations and it's going to keep basically the rotation that is designated on the teleport configuration. I can also use my left hand or my right hand if I want to do teleporting. We can initiate the teleporting on both hands, also do a snap rotation, so it's really fluid. I found it pretty easy to learn. I think it took me a couple of minutes to get it going and learn. My hands got a little bit tired, I'm not going to lie, but I think this is a really cool new feature that you know you can experiment just to see how it would work with the experiences that you build. You can also teleport to really far locations as I'm showing you right now. I'm going to go to a second floor on this building. I'm teleporting, I'm rotating, I'm going to designated areas. So this is a really cool feature provided by Meta and you can use it today by accessing the examples. So in this scene, I wanted to see how the comprehensive rig example works. This is a spray that was included on prior versions to V62, but I wanted to see how it would work with this updated scene. You can see that I can use, you know, grab interactions and everything works. I can do and grab things with my thumb and my index finger, or I can use my left hand or my right hand. This one was really, really fluid. I was able to grab items pretty easily. Also, this window is really cool how fluid it is. You can stretch it, you can you know, make it smaller. I can also grab it with one hand or with two hands. This is it's really cool because it, you know, it shows you the capabilities of how fluid the UI can be when, you know, when developing applications for the MetaQuest devices. I can also do scrolling, you know, any, everything that you can think of, you can do with this window, I can select. This just reminds me of, you know, when dealing with applications such as Netflix or, you know, those movie catalogs that we're used to. I can also select the icons on the very bottom. The finger snaps to the icons, which is really cool. So basically your direct interactions work really well. I can scroll and then all my selections work as well. You can also rotate it with one hand. So really fluid and I think this is just a really cool example of showing you the power of UI with the MetaQuest 3. I think we saw with the Apple Vision Pro that 
you know, UI is really powerful, but I think with this update, we're seeing that Meta is actually spending a lot of time on UI. This is called multimodal, but basically what it is, it allows you to use, you can use a controller on one hand, you can use a hand on another hand, you can use hands if you wanted to, or just controllers. Basically, you can go from controllers to hands or use both. So that is a capability that was added recently on the operating system and now added to Unity, which is really powerful. And one of the things that I think developers ask for a long time, you can see in this case, I'm grabbing a ball with, you know, with my hands and then the controller is holding the actual weapon. And I don't know what it's called, so that's what I call it, a weapon. And lastly, you can also access the OVR camera rig interaction from the Meta XR Interaction SDK OVR package. And then they provide two different prefabs in there, specifically two rigs that you can access. You can use the OVR camera rig interaction, which basically comes in with the OVR camera rig and also the OVR interaction comprehensive. Or if you wanna add the OVR interaction comprehensive by itself, you can do that and then just hook that up to your OVR camera rig. All right guys, so that's everything for this video. If you enjoy going through the new interaction SDK demos, let me know below. I'm really curious if you're going to be using it, if you're considering using some of these new features. Also be sure to subscribe to the channel and like it because it's going to allow me to bring you a lot more content. Thank you very much for your time, guys.